Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Better Than Napoleon campaign in Europe Universe Source 4. Still just wanting to randomly improve relations with people, just I want to keep people happy. Um, I'm playing the a little bit more diplomatic. I think I said it in, in a recent video, I really want to do a campaign where I do like nothing but play with vassals. Like I want vassals, marches, and we certainly don't want Sweden to get any stronger, and they've got cores, so... I have a truce with Sweden, though, so I can't enforce peace. Sneaky little bastard. Okay, I am the Emperor, we're at war. I have military access automatically through here. So yes, just auto-transport across to Wismar. And then we'll march over and attack Holston. In fact, this army is going to be here too. This is our 1-4. I've already got the war goal. Gonna wait on the rest of these cannons. Bavaria is going to end up paying 10% of their income. Bavaria will release Ansbach, Salzburg, and Augsburg. Damn! That actually worked out really well. Thank you, Bohemia, for spending 98 diplo points to release princes. I appreciate your efforts. He's playing like a good little emperor should. I want those cannons, please. Bring the cannons over. Alright, now we're going to go engage. 19 in the front row, 15 cannons in the back with a 1-4 general. That's pretty scary. That's a lot of French cannon. And we have Elen, 4.3 morale. Now we just need defensive. Apparently don't have fleet basing out here. Awesome. Oh god, one supply range away. Great. But of course... 71,000 manpower. Do we have the vote? We have two votes. Two votes for Bohemia. Bohemia voting for himself is rather unfortunate. Let's get Cologne to vote for us. Our mission still to make mines vote for us, and mines they still exist, but they're not going to exist for much longer, I think. And I, I think I keep on saying that, but nice zero there, Francois. Could you roll better, please? Obviously, we want 60 opinion with everyone. Not really that much of a choice, is it? Okay, this, this front row is getting really weak. Pomerania declared war on Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg is a prince... Pomerania is in Prince. Mecklenburg doesn't like me enough for me to protect them. You know, I'd kind of rather not be in a position where I actually need to uh, demand unlawful territory, because it does really sour your relationship when you have to do that. 
Alright, let's swing these armies through and we're gonna split off uh, all the damaged ones. We have a mothballed fort in Altmark. Emperor's dead. Rise of a pretender. Regency Council. They've re-elected us. Well, that's good. Thanks for the papal, or the, the thing. Okay, um, who is the Curia Controller? Still us. Okay, that doesn't change until I think the Pope dies, actually. Okay, um, we have pretenders in Artois. And I don't really have any troops available. I do have tons of force limit and I do have tons of manpower. Why don't we, uh... Why don't we go ahead and hire some, some guys? Even naming these is kind of pointless. So that would be a 12 stack. We'll build it in the south. And then we'll we'll go ahead and let that event go as long as it can before we click it. So you have a fully maintained fort with zero garrison. By all means, let's sit here for a moment. Okay, um, could this war with Mines ever end? Mines Thuringia Nuremberg, like, he's he's got a little army there. Maybe he's turning it around. Yeah, he's got positive war score now. Okay. Well, that's good. So, we are at war with the... the Hansa. This land is part of the Empire. And the Hansa is a prince in the Empire. If I take this land, we'll have a port on the inside, which will give us more range for all these wars we've been doing, and then also potentially give us coring range on... Pomerania, or maybe even Danzig. Yeah, I'd say it's probably going from Hamburg. That port right there to this port would probably be enough to get us range to Danzig. Um, and then also having control of this node is just always nice, so. I think what I'm going to do is take half the cannons up there. We only need, what, 10 cannons for the full bonus? Let's send 11 of them up. Get this siege started pretty quick. Okay, the army's starting to form up. Mostly just infantry at this point, but yeah, that rebellion's gonna fire any moment. So all I want is this province back to Denmark, and then I'd like to maybe try to take an extra province off of him. The coring range. Look at all those advisors. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six to choose from. Well, we don't need missionary strength. Uh, we do probably have some inflation, yes. Um, we've got pretty good income. We're doing an administrative idea group right now, so I'd probably want to have a, a good guy. Who do yearly prestige guy? Sure, why not? Let's spend some money on it. Oh, excellent. He's immediately going to that fort. But I'm going to beat him there. Great. Now 
actually would wouldn't mind being able to fight him a little bit later now. Let's see how we roll. If we roll really well, we'll just keep it going. If we have a crappy roll, yeah, another zero in the shock. I'd rather just retreat. Wait for the artillery and cav, and then engage it, since we know we have time. Since he's going to be there for quite a while. I'm go fight in the woods, apparently. Oh, we actually got to be the defender. Wonderful. And we stack wiped. I've got a bit of papal influence. Um, let's see, in this campaign we don't really care too much about mercantilism. Free stability could be nice. Um, we, well, yearly prestige is always good. Reducing inflation can be cool too. I think I was planning on doing this because we had that that we had a weak claim error, and we have another weak claim error as well. Actually, no, we're losing we're losing legitimacy because of the regency. Let's go ahead and do uh, yearly legitimacy plus one, and we'll do a uh, church tax too. We're gonna take advantage of all this stuff for the you know, the profit of our nation. So Hansa, if I wanted that and I wanted you to give me your capital, it's only 5.2 aggressive expansion. Holy smokes. Are we, oh, is this the campaign? I've already forgotten. I think this is the campaign where like right this second I've got minus 60% aggressive expansion. Yeah, from being the papal controller, just causes, and the full influence, or the influence modifier. We can do whatever the hell we want. They're just like, oh, yeah, well, it's France, so I guess it's okay. Well, I just want to finish the occupation of this province, because I believe I'll need to occupy it. Do I not? No, I don't. But he won't say yes yet. So look at this, 7 aggressive expansion, 56 dip, a little bit of overextension, whatever. Yeah, I, th I think we do. I think we, uh... Wait a minute. Brandenburg, you weren't supposed to join this war. Why did you join? You said you wouldn't. And then you did. Why would you relocate to Holland? That's just rude. Why not walk there? Okay, I think he's willing to say yes now. Indeed. Um, anything else that we want? Nah. That's nice. Does affect my ability to finish this idea group. And look at even more possible advisors. Good lord. But we do need to continue to grow, so. Probably should have remembered to do claims. I hear claims are good. Military access from Sweden. Nah. Nope, we're not a big fan of you. So, Pomerania, um, I still have a truce with. I have a truce with you. I do not have a truce with Holston, I think. But I have a Regency Council. So I can't do anything else right now. And we're nine. Well, that's unfortunate. Royal marriage with you? Sure. Unlawful Imperial Territory. What, me? 
I didn't realize that was going to cause me to lose legitimacy. Okay, we do have room for more force limit. Um, the C. We'll train up a few more barks and. And other than that, just kind of kind of hang out. So, Mines, are you, um, since you're not going to stop existing, I guess, what am I going to do to get you all the way up to 100? I might have to bestow Imperial Grace. We almost have enough to pass a reform. Alright, it says we have five free cities in the Empire. They are Memmingen, Nuremberg, Ulm, Frankfurt, and Aachen. Salzburg. I believe you used to be a free city. Would you like to be a free city yet again? That would be under Emperor Actions. Grant free city status. Let's we'll see if we can figure out why you don't want to be one. Because you're a monarchy. Were you not a free city before? How about Augsburg? Nuremberg. Already is one. The Hans is a one province miner. After I beat them up a bit, let's improve relations with them and offer it to them. And then they can just stay a free city. Just beat them down to the right size. East Frisia, you still don't exist. Like, you're not supposed to really be like that. That's one way we can get to war with Pomerania a little bit quicker. I can't declare war. Crap. Your opinion of me is too far negative. Well, the last thing I want to do before we take a break on this video is uh, just remember to start the core, and then I want to see if we can make the Hansa into a free city. There we go. Very first time I've been able to actually successfully turn somebody into a free city. Excellent. So, if I understand it correctly, every free city, each free city gives you an extra two annual tax income. And that's like it, I think. I think that's all that they really do. And they increase Imperial Authority gain. I think East Frisia, you should become a, uh, you should become a, a thing. Liege. Is a theocracy. Cologne is an elector. Clevs. It's a monarchy. They don't want to do it. I wonder, is it possible with enough diplomatic reputation that we could just force monarchies to do it anyway? Being friendly, your opinion, uh, let's see, your opinion of me gives you one reason and your opinion of me is 18. It's probably one per 10. Your opinion of me gives you five reasons. Yeah, it's one per 10. So we could get 20 reasons if we max relations with somebody. Twelve from diplomatic reputation with you, but we had more than that with someone else. Like twenty-two reasons with um this isn't Salzburg? I thought I had twenty-two reasons. No, I just read it wrong. 
Alright, well, if it's negative 27 right now, we could pick up 19 more from Opinion. If I did raise my Diplo rep, got rid of the overextension. Plus, I think I could do another Papal Legate soon. It could be done. Yeah, I think that with enough Diplo rep, you could just force people to do it. Oh my gosh, we're actually at peace. My rival is friendly toward me. I'm not interested in any of these people as rivals. Bohemia is friendly toward me. Like, why would I want to set rivals? I'm just not going to do it. However, Mines, you need to like me a lot more, please. We're going to gain, like, almost 10 per year. Poland is attacking the Teutonic Order, who only has one province left. And would offer, would accept being my vassal. What if we made them into our vassal and then we attack Danzig and took Danzig for ourselves but had a vassal over here? We'd have one in the north, one in the south, one in the east. That'd be kind of cool. Um, it also allows us to get to war. We do not have the vote right now. Why is that? Controlling other electors. I am? Oh right, the personal union. I didn't even want this union. I don't want you to be... I can't revoke it. I don't... I don't want this. I shouldn't have actually fought for it. I should have just let, have, let Bohemia have it. Well, the last thing I want to do is lose control. My legitimacy is miserable right now. We are a member of the Empire, so... Hmm. Damn Regency Council. Imperial Authority helps. Our Prestige helps. Let's get our overextension down. Let's, um... Just kind of focus on staying electable right now. I mean, it's unlikely our character's going to die during the Regency Council, but I guess it could happen. And then, uh, I don't know what to do about this whole planet BS. There doesn't appear to be any option to just break the re relationship. I can't remove the electorate. Alright, well, I'm going to take a break here. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.